Hey guys, welcome back. We are in the sunny city of Calgary, Alberta. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are in sunny Calgary, Alberta today. Full disclosure, we live here. We're keeping it local. We're gonna show you how to enjoy an excellent weekend in the city of Calgary. Let's go. Nestled in the foothills of the majestic Rocky Mountains, Calgary is the home of over 1.3 million residents. Geographically, Calgary boasts stunning natural beauty with the Bow River winding through the city and the Rockies providing a breathtaking backdrop. Known for the world-famous Calgary Stampede, this greatest outdoor show on earth showcases the city's rich western heritage. But Calgary is more than just cowboys and rodeos. Its vibrant art scene includes Studio Bell, the Glenbow Museum, and a plethora of music festivals that cater to every taste. Today, we're exploring the bustling neighborhoods of Chinatown, Mission, and the East Village, each brimming with unique shops, eateries, and entertainment. We're currently in the East Village, which is on the outskirts of downtown Calgary, right along the Bow River. This neighborhood has been gentrified. Not the biggest fan of blanket gentrification, but in this particular instance, it's been a very good thing for a lot of the community. Walking through the East Village was never a savory experience in the past, but now this is a place where families can enjoy, tourists can enjoy, locals can enjoy. There's a beautiful trail here that runs along the river, bike path, a lot of seating. There's some restaurants, some coffee shops. We're gonna go check one out, come along. We are currently in East Village at Phil and Sebastian's. We just grabbed a coffee. I got the drip coffee, Jen got a latte. Phil and Sebastian's is a local Calgary establishment founded in 2007 by two gentlemen named Phil and Sebastian who met at the University of Calgary and later have gone on to establish a, what I would say, very successful local coffee franchise. We're currently at the East Village location. It's in the old Simmons mattress building. Beautiful location. There are actually other businesses in this building as well. Alley Burger, Char Bar, and the Sidewalk Citizen Bakery. The people here have been very kind to us. Uh, I've never been to this location before, but they have excellent coffee. We're going to drink a coffee, go for a walk, see what else is happening around Calgary. So we're currently on the river walk. This is a four kilometer path that travels along the Bow River and Elbow River. We left East Village, we're headed toward downtown, Chinatown more specifically. I think we might walk around Chinatown for a little bit. Calgary's Chinatown is actually quite small in relative comparison to the Chinatowns you might think of, New York, San Francisco, Vancouver. We're gonna go see what's going on anyway. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. We love making these videos, we love sharing our experiences with you, and every little bit of support helps. We wanna grow. Thanks for coming along on these journeys, it means everything, because without you, it kinda wouldn't be worth filming. So we're currently in Chinatown. Calgary's Chinatown isn't very big, 
but there is actually quite a bit here. Quite a few restaurants. They have a few festivals throughout the year that are pretty fun to come down and enjoy. Calgary's Chinatown is also right along the river. So if you're walking the river walk, you can pop into Chinatown, grab a bite to eat, grab a bubble tea, grab a regular tea, grab a hamburger if you want. We're going to head toward the Chinese Cultural Center, back to the river, and then I think we might go to Mission because I understand there's a bit of a food festival happening there and we're getting a little bit hungry. So we're gonna walk around Chinatown a little bit more and then we are going to get some food. Calgary's Chinatown is a vibrant feast for the senses and a testament to the city's rich multicultural heritage. Nestled in the heart of downtown, Calgary's Chinatown is one of the oldest in Canada, dating back to the early 20th century. As you stroll through the streets of Chinatown, you'll be captivated by the blend of traditional and modern architecture. The beautiful pagoda-style buildings and ornate gateways transport you to another world, while the bustling streets are filled with the aromas of authentic Asian cuisine. From dim sum and Peking duck to bubble tea and hot pot, the culinary delights here are endless. Chinatown is not just about food. It's a cultural hub where you can explore a wealth of shops offering unique items from intricate Chinese art and calligraphy to herbal medicine and exotic teas. Calgary's Chinatown is more than just a neighborhood. It's a celebration of diversity, history, and community spirit. Whether you're here to savor the flavors, explore the culture, or simply soak in the vibrant atmosphere, Chinatown promises an unforgettable experience. Don't miss the Dragon City Mall, a hot spot for shopping and dining that offers a glimpse into the vibrant community life. Just outside Dragon City Mall in Chinatown right now. A lot of people come to this mall. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. It's like an urban strip mall. We're gonna head inside, see what's going on. Let's go. Dragon City Mall is very cool. You can get a lot of cool stuff here. You can get souvenirs, knickknacks, a variety of really, really, really delicious treats. You can get clothes here. I think I saw a nail salon here as well. Japanese, Vietnamese, Chinese, whatever type of food you want is in this little mall. Two levels. You can also get herbs and there's a travel agent here. So if you want to leave Calgary, you can do that too. We're going to head back outside through Ch Chinatown. Then we're going to head down to Mission, get some food. Let's go guys. actually taking a little detour on our way to Mission. Calgary Central Public Library is an architectural wonder for the city. It's beautiful. Interior and exterior alike. The landscaping is amazing. It's in the East Village, which is definitely on the up. It's still not without its problems, but it's a heck of a lot better than it was. We're gonna take you on a really brief tour of the library because we're still very hungry. And seriously, who wants to be hangry? This library is absolutely worth a visit, so we're gonna visit right now. Calgary Central Library is a modern architectural marvel. Opened in 2018, this stunning building is not just a library, but a cultural hub that welcomes over 1 million visitors each year. Designed with a striking blend of glass and wood, the Central Library's architecture symbolizes openness and accessibility. 
As you step inside, you're greeted by a breathtaking atrium flooded with natural light, leading you to four floors of innovative spaces dedicated to learning, creativity, and community engagement. The library boasts an impressive collection of over 450,000 books, digital resources, and multimedia materials. But it's more than just books. You'll find state-of-the-art facilities including a digital media lab, a performance hall, and dedicated spaces for children and teens. The interactive play areas and reading nooks make it a haven for families, while quiet study zones cater to students and professionals. So, this is a library, so I'm going to talk at this volume. <laughs> but, Unless you're in the children's section, and then you can yell at yeah. the top of your lungs. Unless you're in the children's section, then you can yell at the top of your lungs. <laughs> There are a number of spaces here, meeting rooms, there's a little cafe, and there's a lot of space where you can just sit and look out at the city. A lot of big windows, a lot of comfortable chairs, a lot of activities for everyone in the family. Calgary Public Central Library is a must do when you come to Calgary. It's not often you'll hear me say when you're on vacation that you should go to the library, but this is an exception, come see it. This place is pretty badass. Currently on our way to South Block in Mission. We're gonna go see if we can get some food at South Block. South Block is a barbecue and brewing company. Corner of 4th Street and... 25th? 25th. Nicely done. Let's go see if we can get us some barbecue and maybe a bevy. Right now, something called the Feast on 4th is happening. It's uh, been labeled as an affordable food festival. Certain offerings at participating restaurants are serving $10 plates. We're gonna go and check it out. Let's go. Currently just been seated at South Block. We are going to order some delicious barbecue and maybe a beverage. So we just ordered some beverages. We got a Catalucci, which is a white IPA brewed in-house. This is not only a barbecue, it's also a microbrewery. And Jen got the Mission, which is a mango wheat ale. She's gonna review both of these beers for the first time. Not me. Here we go. Okay, so this one is the white IPA. So you said? So I don't like IPAs. So we'll see. Not for me. I think if you like IPA, you'll enjoy that. It's got that tinny taste to it. Thumbs up. Much better. I, however, do enjoy IPA, so. It's actually quite nice. Low bitterness. It's an American white IPA. It's not a Belgian white IPA. They used American yeast. It is pretty malty. And you get the hops up front, actually. Instead of it being malt forward, when finishing hoppy, it's just the opposite. It's actually a very interesting beer. We're gonna order some food in a bit because who doesn't love barbecue? Be back at you in a minute. We just ordered the Feast on Fourth Platter, which is three chicken wings, a quarter pound of brisket, broccoli salad, and cornbread. We each ordered one of those. It's $10 for that, which is a pretty good deal. This is actually a pretty good space. 
large, a lot of seating. The vibe here is really great. It's not quite a packed house. It can be, get a bit noisy when it is busy. They have, it seems like, a hundred bourbons on, on offer, and they have about 10 craft brews on tap. Come down if you're in Mission, enjoy some very good barbecue. They have a bunch of different stuff on offer here. Then you shouldn't miss if you're in Mission. So, we just got our food. It's pretty amazing. I'm about to dig in because I'm starving. And I'm not hangry, but I'm borderline hangry. Let's see how it is. So far, the brisket is excellent. <laughs> Let's try the broccoli salad. Broccoli salad, super good. Cornbread has a special place in everyone's heart. <laughs> the doctor will tell you exactly that. Everything on this plate is excellent. And the portions for $10 are surprisingly big. You could come down here, just have this, have a, a glass of water, a pint of beer, bourbon, a soda, a cola, whatever you like, and leave pretty happy. I'm gonna give this two thumbs up. This is not the sort of food festival where there's just food carts in the street, food trucks around. You just come into the restaurants that are already here. Some are takeaway, some are sit-in. This one's sit-in. It's especially good. Just to remind you, this food festival is called the Feast on 4th. We're at South Block. The food's great. The value's great. I'm going to finish this meal in peace. I love you, but I'm hungry. And I gots to do this, y'all. So that was an awesome meal. What do you give it? I'm giving it an 8.5, bordering on nine. Bordering on nine. I would agree with that assessment. We're just on our way to another spot called Pin Bar to get pizza. Pin Bar is offering $10 eight inch pizzas. You can choose from pepperoni, cheese, or veggie. We're on our way there. First, I'm gonna stop back at the car, get my shirt again because Paradise 17 degrees in Canadian April is over and it's a bit windy so my palm tree shirt says it's warm but my skin says it ain't so I'm gonna get a shirt we're gonna go get a pizza maybe some ice cream so we're on our way to a bar called pin bar I've never been there I believe that it is full of pinball machines which is pretty sweet we're gonna go there for pizza Maybe some pinball, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out, stay tuned. Like and subscribe, click the bell to get notified when we drop a new video. Your support means everything to growing the channel and your support means everything to us continuing to make videos because it's not really worth it if nobody's watching it. We can just do this stuff without a camera, but you guys make it a lot more fun. So let's go get some pizza together. We just made it to Pin Bar. We're at the corner of 4th Street Southwest and 17th Avenue Southwest. We're gonna head inside, get some pizza, see how it is. Let's go.
currently at Pin Bar. We're gonna grab a veggie pizza. $10 pizza, still part of the feast on 4th. This guy's served 20 ounce pints. Kudos for that. This guy's got Simpsons arcade game. A bunch of pinball machines in the corner. Sweet booths, very comfy. Little bit divey. I love that vibe. Do you love the divey vibe? And service has been pretty nice. So we're gonna have this, uh, these beverages, eat a pizza. We'll let you know how it is. So our pizza's just arrived. We are going to indulge. We got a veggie pizza, eight inch veggie pizza, $10. Let you know how it is. The olives are really good. The veggies are really good. The cheese is pretty good. The crust is thick. If you like the crust pizza, you'll like this. It's a pretty good pizza, to be honest with you. I've never had bad dive bar pizza, but I've never had excellent dive bar pizza. It's about the best I've had. It's a pretty good vibe. It's pretty packed in here right now. Everybody seems to be having a pretty good time. We're gonna finish this pizza. I think we're gonna move on and get some ice cream. We'll get back at you then. So we're just leaving Pin Bar and I'm waiting for my eyes to adjust even though I'm wearing sunglasses because it's very dark in there but it's pretty badass man and it's pretty good vibe. It's pretty packed in there right now as you may have seen. We're on our way back to the car. We're gonna stop and get some ice cream along the way if it's still open and it appears it is. Abby's is also part of the Feast on 4th. I believe it's a flight. A flight of four and then I think it's a cookie with sprinkles. Just at Abby's, we got a taster flight, which is four scoops of ice cream and two waffle cookies with sprinkles. They're also dipped in chocolate. It was $10 for all of it. I'm not sure exactly which flavors we got. Jennifer is, so I'm gonna let her tell you. Okay, so we got blueberry lavender, an ube queso, churro crunch, It's also gotten a bit windy and a bit chilly and we're not in the sun, so we're probably going to throw down on this pretty good. Let's see how it is. That was a Vietnamese coffee. Mm -hmm. Vietnamese coffee is super good. The churro crunch is on another level of ice cream that I've never had. Ube queso, also amazing. What do we got? Blueberry lavender. I've tasted this one already. It's very pretty. I sampled it. It is very herbaceous, very floral, very blueberry flavored without being weird or awkward because I could see how those flavors could not be good, but they are very good. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool spot because they have a bunch of okay. plant-based options as well, not just dairy. So yeah. if you're sensitive to dairy and you want plant-based, come to Abby's. It's on 4th Street Southwest, just where 18th Avenue terminates. Come down here, check it out. The people are super cool. The service was fast and good. They had what, like 20 different flavors or so? It was awesome and they had all different types of cones. Dipped cones, plain waffle cones. So this place is pretty sweet to be honest with you. And it's this cool little plaza. We're just outside having some ice cream. So yeah, come throw down on some ice cream. Enjoy yourselves guys. We're 
We're currently at Calgary Heritage Roasting Company. Stopped in for a coffee. This is located in the neighborhood of Ramsey, which is adjacent to Inglewood. Both neighborhoods are very, very trendy. Lots of craft beer around, lots of boutiques, lots of live music, lots of expensive real estate. <laughs> Name the place that doesn't have that. We're here to grab a bite to eat and a coffee. We then will be proceeding down to Echo Field at Spruce Meadows to see the Calgary Cavalry home opener for the Canadian Premier League season. Canadian Premier League is actually only five years old. Calgary Cavalry won the league last year. If you're gonna support local, you might as well support your local football club as well. So we're gonna head down there shortly. That should be an absolute blast. In the meantime, we're gonna show you a couple of places that you can go and hang out before the match and even get a shuttle to the ground. Let's go. So our drinks are here. I got a iced prickly pear espresso and Jen got a regular old latte. Regular old latte. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. We're gonna get these uh, into our bellies and then head on to the next spot. Thanks for joining us guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell to get notified when we drop a new video. It really helps out. We would love to grow this channel and your support would be absolutely invaluable in doing that. We appreciate every minute you watch. It's a lot of fun making these videos. So stay tuned for the next one. It's actually a great little spot. I've never been there before. I don't know if Jen's been there before. First time. First time, yeah, very impressed. Head down, Calgary Heritage Roasting Company. We're on 11th Street, Southeast, sunny Calgary, Alberta. Let's move on. Field is the home of Calgary Cavalry FC. Atco Field is located inside the grounds at Spruce Meadows. Spruce Meadows is a world famous equestrian ground here in Calgary, in South Calgary, deep South Calgary. Feels like outside of Calgary. There is ample parking here at Spruce Meadows. When you come to the match, you might need a car to get, you do need a car to get down here. There are two places, which I briefly touched on, where you can take a shuttle to the match. One of them, you need a car to get to. Sorry, but that's kind of the reality about Calgary. If you go to the ship and anchor, that's pretty centrally located. You can get a double-decker party bus from there on match day. I love coming down here. It's an absolute blast. It's so fun for the family, fun for all ages. And everybody here is always very happy. It's over and that's a wrap for the video guys thanks for joining us this weekend in calgary like and subscribe don't forget to click the bell see you next time thanks guys